Pure and ice. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. God love you. Oh, you're right. Those songs still kind of hold up, don't they? Brian Wilson was. But that's why I went on the road with the Beach Boys. Brian said he wasn't going to go on the road no more. And about three months ago, he made the same statement again. <laughs> See, 25. That would be 23 years ago, wouldn't it? I was only 15 then. Boy, that's... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I realized when I hit 40, friends, that I could still jump as high, but I couldn't stay up as long. You know, you just... <laughs> I mean, just it seemed like it anyway. My older brothers used to take me to the movies in D-Light, Arkansas. And Mom said, you boys better, and she'd let us go because the movies in were cool. You know, we got to see Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, that kind of stuff. Tom Mix. I didn't remember Tom that well, but, you know, hop along Cassidy, man. And I loved the Western music. And then I saw The Lone Ranger, and it kind of said, now there is an unusual Western tune. And sure enough, it was. It was written by an Italian composer, probably old John's cousin, Long Lost Midley. In 1829, not immediate cousin, no genre. And I call it my country and eastern song, I guess you could call it. But I was so intrigued by it that I sat down and learned this piece of music, like he wrote it, except for I half timed the chorus, John, if you will notice. I'm John here, he actually does know a few notes of music. I mean, he, if you don't do it right, he'll tell you right off. And also, you know, this is the only song that Roy Clark doesn't play on the guitar. I'd like to do it for you. The William Tell Overture. Let's do it, boys.